Jim Crowley named first jockey to Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoum and Kate Middleton met with the director of Love Actually for a special project champion. Jockey Jim Crowley has been appointed as the new first choice rider to owner Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoum. Crowley replaced Paul Hagen, who didn't have his contract renewed after nearly five years in the role. Sheikh Hamdan's racing manager, Angus Gold, told at the races, it's very exciting news and we are thrilled to have him on board. Once we had spoken to Paul and Sheikh Hamdan decided not to renew his contract, we talked it over briefly and I spoke to Sheikh Hamdan last weekend and he said he definitely did want to have a contract jockey. Uh, we discussed various options and he came with the idea of Jim. I spoke to Jim two nights ago and he confirmed he would be happy to do it. He's worked his way up and has proved to be a top jockey. He's done a brilliant job this year to become champion and we are happy to have him. Crawley, a former National Hunt rider, won the Jockeys Championship for the first time this year following a lengthy battle with Silvestre de Sosa. Our goal expects Crawley to take up his new position in Dubai early in the new year. He said he will be going out to Dubai for the carnival, which starts in early January, and I'm sure he will be in place for that. In in the meantime, Dane O'Neill is still second jockey, and he's out in Dubai anyway, so Jim will go out to help him. Looking ahead to the 2017 campaign, Gold said, I would say the most exciting of our two-year-olds was probably the filly of Owen Burroughs, uh, Taliyeb, who won at Newmont, she won her only start impressively and hopefully she could be pretty good. We bought a lot of young horses this year and I think we will have more horses in training than ever next year. So there's plenty for Jim to look forward to. Kit Middleton met with the director of Love Actually for a special project. Oh, I can't wait to find out what this is. Kit Middleton and Prince William are working with Richard Curtis on a special new project project about mental health. Richard Curtis, in case you're not familiar, has worked on films like Love Actually, Notting Hill, The OG for Weddings and a Funeral and a Bridget Jones Diary. So the end product is l going to look and sound gorgeous, whatever it is. There was an unannounced private visit between Kate and Richard Curtis just yesterday, which immediately had royal fans speculating excitedly about what that might mean. They're actually uh, haven't been many details yet, except that it's a project centered around mental health and will also include William. According to Daily Mail, the Cambridges are contributing to a project Curtis. It's working on, so it may be something generated by the director. I would love for this to be Kate's big acting debut, something else for her and Megan to bond over, but that seems unlikely. If I had to guess, this is probably something more along the lines of a short film or documentary, but more details are likely coming, so we will know for sure soon. The Cambridges with Prince Harry started Heads Together in 2016, which aimed to open the conversation about mental health among friends and family members. The pair continue to work on that initiative, and that other initiatives will center around mental health. Along with Harry and Meghan, they have also spoken about their own mental health challenges as part of their program to normalize these subjects publicly. The Cambridges met Richard Curtis in 2012 at the War House UK premiere. Uh, the director have spoken openly about the subject, including content warning suicide, his sister's death by suicide, and has said that more needs to be done in that area.